in order to get better, you need to talk to us about this. Like you need to address that something happened and have a conversation with us. Okay, I have to do this video. I have to get this video done before the sun goes down because I'm like running against time right now. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen the Carrot and I make roller skating videos here on YouTube. I mostly do roller skating content. This is not my normal setup. I'm usually filming some skate related content around my house, but um, just I really needed a secluded and safe space to make this video and my car is like my safe, sp safe place right now um not that anyone cares but i'm like having some troubles in my personal life and my family life and just my career now i guess roller skating um it's just a weird time you know and we just had like a lunar eclipse eclipse season it's cancer season cancer moon everyone's feeling everything and everything feels weird but i can no longer like not say anything so i'm gonna talk about my experience with planet roller skate and indie jama jones you guys have noticed i've taken like a fat break on my youtube i haven't really posted anything um, because things were kind of feeling weird to me with Indy before any of this had ever happened. Um, and I just like lost a lot of motivation. And then the Black Lives Matter movement came on and it was wild and passionate and powerful. And then same thing, like around the same time, like stuff was going down with part of the roller skating community. Um, especially a part that I'm associated with which is Planet Roller Skate because if you guys have seen my other roller skate videos I am like sponsored by them like um we have an agreement where they pay me and I shout out their uh company because you know so that's why I'm here that is what this video is about if you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about I'm gonna explain myself right now um and the reason this has taken me so long is just because um, I've been trying to collect um, the story from like several different people from like different um, I just I've just been like observing and seeing everything and um, you know I've just been watching to see if anyone's gonna say anything so okay I'm talking too much pretty much the point of this is that I'm no longer going to be working with Andy Jamma Jones. And if you guys don't know who that is, she's a roller skater who also started like making tutorials, making content for roller skaters here on YouTube. Um, she has a very large following and she then made an online shop where she could sell skates to people and then contacted me to promote her shop on my videos you know because like i don't know if you guys have noticed but roller skating is popping you know it's growing ever since covid happened everyone has been like stuck at home trying to learn something new and a lot of people wanted to get skates and you know like skating has been popping on tiktok and tiktok is popping right now regardless so it's just like um it's really cool you know like a lot of people are getting into skating um but uh Indy really messed up uh in my opinion so okay so what happened was that i don't have a facebook but planet roller skate has a facebook page where like if you want to be in that like group or whatever um you have to answer a couple questions about skating and it's usually like grown-ups joining it to find other people to skate because you know like little kids don't really use facebook so yeah it's so weird like i'm telling the story again and i just like i'm remembering everything and it's just like so bad dude <laughs> so there's a group called uh planet roller skate right on facebook and it was the day of the murder of george floyd that happened um wait, i don't remember if it was the exact day but it was like fresh like that had just happened and this black skater uh used kind of like 
retweeted but it's facebook i don't know what it's called but she um got like the the video and like the headline of like she was so upset that this happened you know like everyone was upset right like that video is freaking horrifying it's so sad it makes you feel like gross that shouldn't have happened anyways she then posted that video and then like that same title but then she added her experience as a black woman as a black skater and being like racially profiled by the police like she had a story of like how she was skating at a parking lot and cops kept coming and checking for her and trying to talk to her like ask her weird questions and they just made her very uncomfortable that she had to leave so then people you know that are in the group they were like agreeing they were like yeah like this is so messed up that like you have to experience this and then like adding their experiences you know just having a conversation about it um and then all of a sudden that post was deleted so then people started commenting on the facebook page demanding to know what happened to the post why was it deleted what happened and then one of the administrators or like um the people that run that facebook was like oh like sorry but our guidelines for this facebook group is no politics um whatever have a skate day which was so like the hell then people of that community like went back to like all the different posts that have been made and there was posts talking about pronouns and respecting like the lgbtq community um there was posts about like um like safety weapons when you're when you're skating out on your own um and you know like body positivity so all of these things have to do with like feminism and just like you know like rights um which you can say are considered political right right yes yes so the fact that they did this or they try to silence a black woman and let these white feminism posts be up but oh like racism oh we're scared that's too political um no we're gonna delete it we don't want to hear we want to talk about cool things you know um but that's how you know that you have privilege when these things don't bother you and they or you can just ignore them you know like black people and people other people of color you know like they can't they can't forget what the color of their skin is they have to constantly be in a like constantly be checking out for other people to see if they're treating like being mistreated and like they just can't forget about it their life literally depends on it like they have to be aware that they have to know what is going on around them all the times so they have to be sus you know like all these things so then indy comes and makes it worse and she's like oh yeah like this um page is, like i just we just want to keep it like safe for the children and i'm gonna make another facebook group right now where we can talk about adult content and boy did that make the people in that group mad like people were so mad that she tried to do it she didn't even do it she said she was gonna do it and she didn't even do it so she was like oh okay so you're gonna get all the black people all the people of color that have to talk that want to talk about their racial injustice and their experiences and you're just gonna again separate them from the nice fluffy white people and their problems like no no and then she just started deleting more comments blocking um women of color and just being really weird like weird oh my god this happened like overnight a lot of people were like not even aware about what was like, going on until the next day and they were just like bombarded with these things so then she thinks all right so after that facebook group everybody was like yeah that's so messed up and i know that like the moxie team made a like a uh, video call with like some of their like with some of their teammates that are like people of color black biracial you know like they had like a diverse group and they were talking about you know that like you know the injustices and stuff um i never listened to it to be honest but i know that it's out there but then indy wanted to do her own version and she called up sojourn you know um 
her like youtube blog her youtube name is like i am every girl and she's black and she called her and some other like black skaters from london that were like fairly new to skating um so it was a bunch of black skaters from london some were fairly new um and then it was pigeon and indy this was a zoom call by the way it was like a zoom call um and then there was this um other dude who was speaking on part of the lgbtq community so to me it was very random though i was just like who are these people like and and okay it was just super random to me and then the day before that they did that indy had called me on my phone like twice and i just like stared at my phone and i felt so weird i was just like no like girl you messed up and like to me it was like she's reaching out because i'm a person of color and like she wants me to like tell her what to do that's what i thought because this is kind of like what happened with the impala situation do you guys remember um okay we'll talk about that soon but she called me like twice and i didn't answer like i felt weird and i felt like she just wanted to use me you know so then the next day they did that zoom call and then apparently like the people that were on that call were not even notified that this was gonna go on youtube like they thought they were just gonna have a conversation and then they're like no so both of these videos like this one and like the moxie one were like two hours and um i remember i was watching the the planet roller skate one it was called like town hall um i was watching it what well, i was listening to it because it's just i'm talking so i was listening to it when i was driving home i only listened to about like half an hour of it and it was just like the vibes were weird and like in these phase where she was just like like being like a berrinchuda like she didn't want to be there like she was just like pouty and you know pigeon just looked like she was just like there and like yeah so, so it looked weird it looked weird and people were not happy about it so then do you know what this girl did she erased the video so she erased the video well okay wait let me let me let me try so indy did this video to kind of cover her ass but then see like she tries to like so she's been staying choosing so Indy has been choosing to stay silent about everything and in hopes that like we're gonna forget or we're gonna like just stop talking about it. Um, I've it's funny though because like when Impala was getting called out for um not paying um their people of color for a photo shoot that I was involved in, like impala's strategy was to just just turn off the comments and ignore everyone and like hide under a rock right so that just made me i'm like so upset at the next steps that indy took because they were just horrible and therefore prove what kind of person she really is and therefore letting me know how much i do not want to work with this girl you know uh, so okay let's talk about the video that she put on with queer girl straight skates and me like let's just talk about that video because i have receipts right here about what she said i literally listened to this video and typed it so many people were commenting that this whole incident reminded them about that one video that indy me and rebel queer girl straight skates did together and how it made them so uncomfortable because she literally silenced me every time i tried to talk about my experience and that is true and i felt that too how i got involved in that situation was that indy wanted to make that video but she thought it would be better to be put on queer girls channel so they both of them who are not even involved with impala were gonna talk about impala and me being the one that experienced that i was there that i got that mistreatment that like backhanded oh yeah we forgot to pay you like it was up it was up and they were gonna talk about that without me 
and apparently it was rebel's idea to call me and then she called me and she basically said yeah we want to talk about what happened but like we think it's looking a little bit like too white that's literally what she told me and i was like yeah i'm gonna talk about it because this happened to me how are you gonna make a video talking about the situation that went down that involves me and you're not gonna like Oh, you're gonna, oh, we just remember that maybe we should invite you. What the f And then they didn't even contact the other person that was involved, like, at all, to even hear their side of the story. So, with my little receipts, I'm gonna post clips about this video, too. But it's just, it's so, oh, it's so annoying. Like, I don't know, I just, I just feel hella played again. And when this, when the Impala thing happened with her, like, she, she basically, she, we were going to talk about it at my house, and she came over, and she kept avoiding the conversation, like, we were, like, you know, like, drinking, and, like, you know, having a cool, cool time, we were, like, watching music videos, but then, like, you know, the time came, and I was, like, so, like, about Impala, like, what are we gonna do, and then she just kept, like, avoiding it, and then the next day, like, they called me all, like, random, that's why I look like in that video, like, I have, like, my hair is all wet, like, I was, like, well, damn, like, let me at least take a shower, I just felt like I had to, because I was, like, sponsored or whatever, um, but it was just, like, a very weird experience. And if you watch that video again, I'm going to link it down below so you can watch it. It's very, like, uncomfortable. But it just, like, it shocks me because, like, now that I know the actions that Indy took towards this, towards this fat freaking movement, like, towards, like, not giving a damn about black people. To me, she didn't even have to say anything to just say that she's a racist, that she doesn't value people of color black people like she values white people and i've had that feeling in my gut for a while but hold up let's let's do the receipts first okay. so from what i type so rebel says we need to talk about impala we are here to talk about it talk about it with us in the comments indy says keep it nice or else it's not fun Rebel says, yeah, and it's clear that people care about it, and that's why people are talking about it, and are frustrated and have a lot of feelings, and from these feelings, we could really demand growth for us skaters, and I think that's really good, so yeah. Okay, and then she says, all right, let's talk to Karen. What happened to you? And then I explained what happened. You know, they didn't pay me. Um, they invited us to the same shoe. We found out that there was four of us. The two white girls got paid. The two people of color did not it was sus and they were told to keep it hush hush so that's even more sus and then i say what made it really sketchy is that they and i were the only people of color so that made it really sketchy and that just made us question impala's morals and ethics and everything right it looks sketchy we live in a world in 2019 we live in america trump is in power so you know all of this is really sensitive and we are tired of being played so this whole thing came out and other skaters were told not to talk about it, the pay, which made it sketchier. And Paula turned off their comments, and people were mad, and that's how it started. And then Indy said, so I mean, that's sketchy and, like, not cool. And I think that that's awesome that people are speaking out about it, and they should feel completely valid in those feelings. First off, that's sketchy and, like, not cool. And I think it's awesome that people are speaking out about it, and they should feel completely valid in those feelings yeah and then rebel said yeah like we definitely need to demand that people treat people of color equally like that's so messed up that they would not pay you and indy said and it's understandable like it's totally normal for people to be paid different rates at different jobs based on social media following skill level like these things are normal but the fact that you were specifically asked no the other girls were specifically asked to not tell you guys that's a little sketchy you know it's just like you're hiding something. We definitely need to demand that people treat people of color equally. Yeah. Like that's so messed up that they would not pay you. 
Yeah. And it's understandable, like it's totally normal for people to be paid different rates for jobs based on, you know, social media followings or skill level, like these things are totally normal, but the fact that, you know, you were specifically asked, or the other girls were specifically asked not to talk to you guys, is like, that's a little sketchy, you know? Like, what do you, like, it's just like you're hiding something. And then, later on, Indy says, well, dang, so I guess it's like, all right, what can happen? What can we do about this? That's what a lot of the activity online is asking. What do you guys think that Impala could do to remedy this or to actually make it a growing thing? Do you think we should cancel Impala? Well, dang, so <laughs> I guess it's like, all right, what, what can we, what can happen? You know, what can we do about this? And I think that's what a lot of the activity online right now is about. But what do you guys think Impala could do to like remedy this or to, to actually make it a, a growing thing? Do you think we should cancel Impala? I do you think we should cancel Indy? And then Rebel said, I don't know because I think it's really messed up thing. A total misstep and I also think that they were like issues with the skates. And then Indy said, of course, I'm always listening and keeping these conversations open. That's all I typed. But she's literally contradicting herself so much. The fact that she said, yeah, people are upset and they want to talk about it and they should be totally valid in those feelings. And then she says, what can we do? What can happen? How can we fix this? But the way that she tried to fix everything was by changing passwords from her YouTube changing passwords from the shop that she works at ignoring her business partner ignoring everyone else deleting all of the pictures from her instagram leaving only one which she edited the the caption and then turning off the comments like girl dude and you know what makes me you know what makes me the most like upset is that this girl was gonna have a collab a skate collab with this black owned new roller skate company and they told her we don't believe in canceling but if you put an apology video and you are really like sorry for what you did we won't cancel the collab and what did she do she said nothing she said i don't need this well she said nothing she left so what did they do they had to cancel that collab this girl had a children's book with sojourn they both collab to make this video i mean to make this book and part of it the donations go to like refugees and it like talks about that she decided to redo the book without indy because she couldn't be accountable for her actions she couldn't say sorry to the black community she couldn't say sorry to all those people of color skaters that looked up to her she just decided to run away and I just think it's so messed up that like she didn't even want to talk to Pigeon, her actual business partner. Like Pigeon was left to clean up all the that she left. You think that's fair to her? No. And I'm just going to say this, like Pigeon has never been rude to me. She has always valued my work. She was the one that saw my videos and told Indy that maybe we should collab with her. And Indy said that I was too controversial. But Pigeon saw that potential in me. Pigeon saw that I was, I make good videos. I make entertaining stuff. You know, like I just show my life. I'm just real about it. You know, she like saw that and she valued me. And, ugh. And then you know what else? I felt this coming when, so because of COVID, they were really busy with skate sales a lot of people wanted to get skate sales so she was actually like working more in the warehouse and get and like getting packages shipped over and stuff like that so she asked us like rebel and i to make content for her channel because she wanted to she wanted to do like daily content on her youtube channel um but she asked us like if we wanted to do videos like they would you know like pay us twice like if we got two videos out um to post it on her channel right so i was really excited i um since i'm bilingual i decided to make some videos in english and spanish um and it's a lot harder than it looks because you have to be like talking in english and then talking in spanish and then doing the same thing in english you know you're doing the same thing twice um so i would make videos and honestly there was like two weeks when i was like grind mode i was like 
every day like recording every day editing and like doing all these things and indy runs the planet roller skate instagram like that's her she runs it and i would literally give her like like a video preview the thumbnail the video i would literally give her everything to advertise it or to repost it on her story because that wasn't our agreement we actually had a contract um and she promised me promotion you know like just standard stuff but then she wouldn't post my stuff she wouldn't post my stuff she kept posting dirty deborah harry which she also made videos for her which is a white woman with blonde hair and she would keep posting rebel which she's a white woman you know and i started feeling really like invalidated i was just like so is my work like not worth it like do i suck like can you give me some pointers and she always lagged on texting me back like i would always ask her stuff about like business about like you know like youtube videos merch stuff and then like i did that giveaway with them because they gave me the stuff to give away and she didn't promote it once like not even a, on a on her freaking story like a little thing like you can't you, you can like share posts like so easily on instagram now like nothing um and i was just getting like a lot of like resentment from her and that's when i decided to just and that's when i just decided to talk to pigeon only and i asked her and i was telling her how like i was feeling and you know she like validated me and um i asked her i told her that i wanted a raise because i had been doing this for like uh a year now and i feel like my videos have like gotten better you know like my views and stuff and i just thought i deserved a raise and um i didn't even want to mention it to indy because i felt like she would say no or just like not take me seriously and i asked pigeon and she told me yeah um we never like got to it because once she t she told me to email her you know send her like a professional email talking about um how much i wanted to get paid and stuff like that you know just like a professional email and then all this went down and i was just like in shock that like this girl might really be racist like she might really like she's so tone deaf she has had black friends who have tried to tell her this who have tried to like make her understand that this thing exists and you can't just ignore it and like it's happening in your community and she just chose to ignore it she's like oh like no like i can't really see that so i guess it's not happening like no like what you yeah it's just like i know she keeps saying that she's going to say something publicly but at this point like her word is worth nothing to me and to a lot of people a lot of people lost her respect so like pigeon had to fire her because she was not taking accountability pigeon gave her all these resources to read up about what it means to be like white in america the privilege that you hold and how you should help others and you know just giving her this like help but she said i'm not gonna write the apology for you you have to do that herself and she kind of threw like a little fit and she was like you're supposed to help me but like she doesn't want it you know and she would rather see her career crumble than to say that being racist is wrong like how more racist can you be and she you know like her family is from texas and stuff and she never wants to do anything too like crazy or whatever because her mom watches her youtube and like her mom is controlling her youtube like girl you can't live like that you gotta do it you know think for yourself and if she has these like deep rooted like racist bias you know like you can work to and learn that you don't have to be living like that unless you want to unless you choose to unless it's better than caring about black lives you know so i just that's my personal experience with indy um i always did feel like she looked down on me like because i don't care um i always felt like you know like those judgy vibes and you know like to go back to the impala video she just rants about how she's going to keep selling this skate that is causing a lot of trouble to people 
um you know like everyone's questioning their morals i have a whole video that i'll link down below too about how i felt about the whole impala situation and i'm always trying to like keep things positive um you know but like indy's actions have just like spoken so much louder than anything that she could ever say and i just i'm not comfortable with her um i don't want to work with her anymore period um pigeon doesn't want to work with her so to like give you guys the breakdown planet roller skate the youtube belongs to indy okay she made that that's hers then she collabed with pigeon to make planet roller skate dot shop right pigeon used to own the actual physical moxie shop in long beach and venice she then closed venice to focus more on the long beach one and she was going to rename it planet roller skate shop okay so now that this happened pigeon is removing indy from planet roller skate dot shop they have a warehouse where they ship things out right she cannot remove indy's youtube videos because that belongs to her she did fire her from the shop from the warehouse so now and she is rebranding um her, her physical shop in Long Beach has been closed due to renovations and COVID, but they're going to open next month and it's going to be called Pigeon Skate Shop. Um, the Instagram is also called Pigeon Skate Shop for the shop. And then the Planet Roller Skate Instagram belongs to Indy and Indy changed the password so she can't, you know, that's not associated with Pigeon and Pigeon is going to rename um the website pigeonskates.com something like that i just know that it's under construction right now she's working a lot of it you know like um i feel for her because she has a lot of employees that she has to take care of you know like with this whole covid situation a lot of her employees had to go work um from home and you know like it's it's so like sad and draining for the people that are working there like especially the ones that are doing customer service because they're getting a lot of indies hate mail and they just have to deal with it and it's like super stressful on them and you know it's just like why would you want like your dirt to be like poured on someone else like that's so sad and you know like pigeon has a toddler she has to take care of um so when this whole happened when this whole thing happened a lot of people that had made a donation to any black life funds they matched it um they have donated a lot of money so far to that campaign um to bring awareness and stuff which i think is really cool um and yeah you know and then like back to that like impala video like after she explained that she was just gonna keep selling them like she never once asked me how i felt about the situation like they were never like damn that was really messed up but how did you how did that make you feel karen like they never asked me that nor rebel and then there was this huge fat part where i talk about that the main reason why i supported Nepal so much was because all of their skates are vegan and i'm a vegan skater and the fact that like all their skates are vegan um says something to me and other vegans because a lot of like vegan options that people put are just to get the vegan dollar you know what i mean like they don't really care about making like an animal friendly skate they just want vegan money so you know like i i think it's cool to have both but you know i know that i do know that there are some people that are like really picky with that um and i'm very passionate about vegan about not eating animals you know i have a whole video on like how a little chicken rooster changed my life and made me vegan and i have a tattoo of him um but yeah like that was very important to me oh, she is very gorgeous to me and they didn't include that in the video and then they did like the outro without me at indy's house which i thought was so weird like the whole video is weird you guys yeah like let me know what you guys think in the comments you know this is my first update in a month this is so far what 
I've been dealing with, how I feel. So like moving forward, like I'm not a Planet Roller Skate correspondent anymore. Um, right now I'm just working by myself. Um, if you guys know, I am an artist. I have an Etsy shop. Uh, I make beanies and you know, like I have an embroidery machine. So I, I make a lot of like cool art, wearable art. Um, I just made shirts <laughs> with my logo. It's just a little blood. Um, one of my like logos are like one of my favorite art pieces that I've done. Um, I also sell stickers and stuff like that. And I'm also, I also teach roller skating classes. So if you guys are ever interested, hit me up on Instagram. Um, and yeah, you know, like it's so, it's so weird, but I'm just like tired of brands like not believing in me or just like seeing me as like whatever, like who is she like but i know that like i'm better than that like i know my value um i said that you know like in my other impala video like if anyone ever, ever wants to work with me you know like i'm gonna need some sort of payment because this is my life this is my income like i work for myself i sustain myself you know like i have big dreams of like traveling and like going around the places to skate like to travel vlog like those are my big dreams and you need money to achieve that and like i'm working hard on myself like right now i'm just putting like all of my time and energy into making my brand better um i've always wanted to have a clothing brand too and like now i'm making it possible you know um i have a dream of having like my own like skate collab one day you know I would love that and you know that takes investments that takes money so um you know I really appreciate you guys that support me um you guys are the reason why I keep doing this um I have a lot of like big dreams and hopes for my future like here on YouTube and you know stuff like that and I'm just like, I guess the positive out of this story is just that, like, I'm just going to focus on me now. Um, so if you guys do support me in any way, like, I'm going to make a Patreon with, um, like, never before seen content, you know, all that not so kid friendly stuff, because I have a lot of that. Like, so as far with, like, working with Pigeon, like, I'm just going to keep it open, you know, like, she's been very kind to me. And she's always been kind to other like black skaters and um, you know women skaters people of color so she's never she's never like disappointed me in that aspect and I know that because she's born she was born in California and she like grew up with a lot of diversity so um, I know that she like understands um, but yeah like like I want to focus on myself hard I just want to make my dreams come true and I don't want to be associated with someone who doesn't care about or someone who cares about like the color of their skin and if they're worthy or not like nah dude Indy really messed up and I'm really disappointed in her is this a Pisces thing? Because one time I was having a whole conversation on my Instagram about Pisces and everybody was telling me that they knew someone who like, they knew a Pisces who like try to kill their mom and like crazy stuff like that. So I'm just kidding Pisces. I'm just trying to roast you, but yeah, it's bad. Um, I guess we're all just like on the waiting game to see if she's gonna say anything. Um, I'm sorry this video took me so long, but like I said, I've just been like observing and Trying to get my story straight and um yeah so the positive note to end it on a positive note i'm still gonna make roller skating videos for you guys here in english and in spanish so make sure you subscribe to that little carrot um and then follow me on instagram because i post more daily like on my stories and stuff and usually when i drop new merch and stuff like that i usually do it on my instagram stories um but for now you can check out my etsy shop i'll leave a link down below and yeah i hope you guys have a great day leave me a comment 
note about what you think about this and I would read them and then I'll make a follow-up video if anything happens, which I'm sure it will. Okay, bye guys, my son is leaving. I have to shut up now. Ah!